Last time the Razorbacks had a chance to win a College World Series title was 1979. Amongst the greats, that guy right there, Kevin McReynolds, was on that team. Of course, the field was different, the uniforms were very different as well. They had the support, but boy, have they turned out in droves tonight. Take a look at the Arkansas NCAA National Championships, 20 of them in men's indoor track, cross country, outdoor track, men's basketball back in 1994, they won it all, of course. Never in baseball, though. And now with the hog hats on, young and old are looking for three more outs. I'm not sure I've seen a more impressive freshman pitcher ever than what Kevin Abel just showed us and what he has shown us here at the College World Series. That was poise and perfection. And for Abel, that's now 12 innings in the College World Series. 13 strikeouts and he's looked in total control the entire time. Kid may lead the country in strikeouts next year as a sophomore. I mean, it, it is real stuff. Arkansas the last two nights have struck out 27 times. They've been out hit. They're three outs away though from winning the World Series. So we'll start with Zach Taylor. Matt Cronin came on in the last inning. And this guy on the mound has been really impressive too. Yes, Yesterday he what he did and so far what he's done yep. in that top of the eighth inning. Let's see if he can continue it here. Breaking ball. We've seen a steady diet of fastballs from Cronin. That one surprises me. That's the first off speed pitch that Cronin has thrown, and, and Zach Taylor doesn't have a whole lot of power. Just two home runs over the course of the season. The one thing with Cronin is he throws a ton of strikes with that fastball. You're probably not that worried if you do fall behind 1 0 if you're Wes Johnson. Up 2 0. Andy Armstrong has stepped into the on deck circle for. Oregon State. They got the leadoff man on last inning, Rutschman. He made it all the way to third base and was stranded there. Cronin in a big at bat got Quan to fly out to left. That's in there for a strike, two and one. A lot of Razorback fans holding their breath, can't bear to watch. Yep, can't bear Love to watch. It. This is what this is about. <laughs> that ball is pulled down the line. It's going to go foul. A few people held their breath when they saw that one leave the back of Zach Taylor. How about that? <laughs> He's one of them. <laughs> and I imagine the folks at Bomb Stadium, same thing. Time to elevate. Fast ball up right here. There they are. Two home runs on the season for Taylor. 2 2 pitch from Cronin. Nope. Sailed it at 94. He elevated. That's why Armstrong is on deck. He too has got two home runs. 25,580 on hand at TD Ameritrade to watch this one. Another one hit well, foul. If you're Arkansas, does that worry you? A little. Yeah, because one he just took foul. That one obviously was was way foul. 15 pitches from Matt Cronin last night coming on back to back nights. But I I, I think you absolutely stay with a fastball. Zach Taylor singled scored a run in the fifth inning. One of the two for Oregon State. Another good battle brewing here between Cronin and Taylor. Now climb the ladder. Just a tad bit high. Zach Taylor, the junior, 6'2, 205 pounder out of Sherwood, Oregon.
Nope. He walked him great at bat by Zach Taylor. And the leadoff man is aboard. That's huge right there in That's this situation here. The situation, you know, they did it in the in the top half of the eighth inning. They will bunt to make sure that they get Madrigal and Caden Grenier with a runner in scoring position. That's the game that they had played all season long. Talk about sacrifice bunting. This team has done it a lot. Andy Armstrong mentioned the two home runs. Pat Casey's going to send a pinch runner to first base, get Taylor out of the game. Armstrong has been used to sacrifice successfully 12 times 12 sacrifice hits for Andy Armstrong so a good bunter at the plate. Now we're going to have a conversation here between Armstrong Pat Casey. Zach Clayton has gone on as a pinch runner. No secret here what he's talking to them about one get the bunt down two, make sure if you're the, when you're the runner at first that the ball is down. Don't try to take that extra step. Trust the process. They've done it all season long. Come off the bench and you want to do a little too much. The game can speed up on you. I would say there's a lot of times I don't like the bunt. I do here because of who's coming next. Yeah. I mean, you give Madrigal and Grenier a chance with a guy standing at second base. I. I I think you got to do it here. Take your chances on getting them in. Let's see what he does. Popped it straight up and straight back. Tough pitch. You just said, Eddie, make sure that ball is down. I indeed. This is where it gets me to talk Spanish. And the reason being, rule number one, you bunt it strikes. You bunt it a pitch down. Yes. Cronin throws up in the zone. That ball right there, that's, you're asking for trouble. It's not a bump base hit. Use your legs. And soften that ball. Well, and, and that's why I'm staying there if I'm Matt Cronin. I'm staying at the upper part of the zone. I'm staying right there to see if you can get another one of those because we, we talked about this fastball that really has carry to it. That makes it a little bit tougher to square up and bun at a downward angle, too. Trying it again. Oh, what a job by Armstrong. That's well done. He sure was. He got the job done, kept it fair, advanced the runner to second. Andy Armstrong does his job. Yeah, that's a lot of high fives. That wasn't an easy pitch to no. either. You, you said it. Stay up. He did stay up, and that ball was up and in. Watch this right here. Keeps that bat head up the entire time, the angle. I mean, put yourself in Armstrong's shoes right now. That, that's mid 90s, about two inches from your eyes when the bat is all the way out there. That's not the most comfortable position to be in, but he did his job. Well, you talk about somebody that's due. Nick Madrigal is 0 for 7 in the College World Series finals. 0 for 7 with a walk. He's hit almost 400 this season. The number four overall pick in the draft this year. And he fouls one off. So far in this College World Series final, five fly balls to the center field. That last fastball, 90 miles an hour from Matt Cronin. It's down a little yesterday bit. we saw 93 to 95 pretty consistently again going on back to back days through 15 pitches yesterday this next pitch will be his 26th today. Every year it feels like you get to this point the closers for these teams trying to win it are on fumes. And three there. This is where Madrigal is really good going to the right side of the field hitting ground balls that way not only moving the runner but driving them in. We've seen first at his arm in left field last night we saw it it was terrific Fletcher's one of the best center fielders in the country and Cole a terrific athlete out there in right field as Clayton takes a lead at second base. Good pitch and a good pitch to hit. What a matchup. I mean, you've got one of the best closers in the entire country in Matt Crone going on back to back days. You get the fourth pick of the draft standing at home plate yep. with a single, a single that ties it up for Oregon State. Like, th these are the moments you live for. 
when you're on the mound, when you're at home plate. This is why you play. Two outs away from their first College World Series title. Madrigal 0 for 7 in the finals. One, two. Nope. Two and two. Break a ball here? No. I think about it, man. He's only thrown one. I know he's only thrown one. Pitches I get it. One and you want to throw one here now? I don't think so. It's a good breaking ball now. I know that the fastball plays up, but the reality is the velocity on the fastball is a little bit different tonight. The dude standing at home plate is really good. There's Blaine Knight. Got the victory last night. Perfect season would only be perfect if they can win the College World Series. He's 14 and 0. Had to go through his routine. Here's your 2 2. Think about the number of times that Nick Madrigal has swung a baseball bat. Thought about a situation like this. Same with Cronin on the mound. Jam shot first base. Two down, runner to third. What a spot. What a spot with the fastball. Madrigal, the pitch before, got to one that Matt Corona wanted to get him on. It was that elevated fastball out of way where you see a lot of guys swing through it. And this one just tied up one of the best hitters in the entire country. That is 92 93 in on the hands. And Matt Corona is one out away from giving Arkansas their first ever national title. The junior from Henderson at 5'11. Caden Grenier's got two hits his last two times up, both singles. One was a ringing shot against a fastball from Barrett Lowski. They are one for eight with runners in scoring position. Strike one. Seven times Dave Van Horn has been here a couple of times with Nebraska. He has yet to leave a World Series champion. Zach Clayton is 90 feet away from tying this game up. Popped up. Maybe playable. Shaddy's over there. So's Gates. Tough play. Nobody gets it. Wow. An extra life for Caden Grenier. Three guys had a chance at it. Cole, Shaddy, and Gates. Watch Carson Shaddy. He's coming in hard. He wants it. Overruns it. Wants it way too much. As soon as he bumps into Gates, he had no chance at it. Talk about nerves. <laughs> Oregon State given another lifeline. There's the tying run and the one two.
2-2 you you've got Trevor Larnack on deck. Been a difference maker this entire College World Series offensively. Oregon State. Outfielders playing fairly shallow especially in right hole. 2 2. Out of play. Good pitch good work. Again, Grenier just fouled off the one that Cronin wants to get you out on. Matt Cronin has pitched in both ends of a doubleheader. This is the first time he's gone back to back days, and this will be his 36th pitch. To this. What a performance by Caden Grenier. Third hit of the night. Top 36 pitches so far tonight. 35 of them have been heaters. You live and die with your pitch, and that's been his pitch so far. And you give another life to a player that got picked 37th overall, and Grenier ends up with a big hit third hit of the night for Grenier third hit of the night for Grenier fouled off a couple tough ones the ball down the right field line it looked like it was going to end the ball game when it didn't the junior comes up with a big hit and ties this one up for Oregon State they were down to their last strike and Grenier delivers he's the only guy tonight both Oregon State hits with runners in scoring position and Grenier be careful he's got great speed at first if you're Arkansas you've got to have somebody up right now. And I, I'm not saying to get out of this one quite yet, but the reality is, Rav, you said it just a minute ago, Corona's never gone back to back days this year. That pitch count's getting up. Yep. This stuff is a little bit different than it was before. And don't forget, Oregon State now has Kevin Abel on the mound. Here's Larnick, 1 0. 2 0. And you got to believe there's a deflated feeling for Arkansas especially Cronin who thought he had the World Series won on that fly ball into foul territory that Arkansas could not come up with yeah, you're thinking why Cole wasn't under that ball he was playing deep in right field playing off the line when Grenier was hitting Larnick's 18 homers leads the team Gets one to hit, drives it to right. This one is deep. This one is gone. Trevor Larnick's 19th, and Oregon State roars to the top here in the ninth. They now lead it 5 3. What a comeback. They were down to their last strike. And Larnick lights up the Beavers' dugout. Fastball misses his location. Cronin definitely fatigued. We see it in velocity, and now we're seeing it in location. And what a swing. The first rounder again coming through big time. Clears his hands. Oh, my. The lineup just doesn't stop. The lineup does not stop. And for Larnick right there, it's a fastball in her half. Before that pitch, Matt Cronin had given up two home runs this entire season. The third home run has given Oregon State the lead here tonight. Think about the guys that you expect to come through for Oregon State. Larnick, home run. Rutschman, home run. Arkansas's bullpen is in trouble tomorrow night. Given how many pitches Cronin has thrown here. They did get Lowski out with 22, so he'll be available, but down by two with two down. Cronin throws to Adley Rutschman. What a seesaw back and forth game we have here in game two of this best of three College World Series. Action now is Cody Scroggins up and throwing the Arkansas bullpen. Rutschman pops it up. Shabby will get another chance. 
And this time he'll make the play. Holy cow, the Beavers bounce back. Caden Grenier, after giving a lifeline on a pop up that wasn't caught, he delivers his third hit of the night. And then Trevor Larnick blasts one off. Good look at it, his 19th. And the Beavers are back in business. We're on the verge of a game three if Abel can close the door here in the bottom half.